Welcome to the station of decapitation without your head. I'm Nasty Neal, and I'm joined by Jonathan DeGrell, director of Transfert, which is playing a shriek fest. Yeah. It's Did I me. pronounce that right? Jonathan, yeah. Jonathan. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Very good. Well, uh, I love Transfert, not just because you're here. <clears throat> I think it's a great, uh, very well made, um, great effects, great acting. So uh, give people an idea of what the movie's about without giving too much away since it's a short. Oh, uh, Transfer is a short film. It's about, um, uh, imagine uh, Germany won the Second World War. And, uh, and uh, it's about uh, science fiction, time travel, and uh, things like that. It's a pulp movie, uh, a serial B movie. Yeah, and it's it's great. Uh, um, have you watched it with an audience before? Uh, f- a few many times, not uh, not many times with uh, COVID and uh, all this yeah. thing. But uh, yes, I I, um, I, uh, I had the chance to to see the movie with the audience in a we all t- theater, yeah. mm-hmm. and yeah. uh, I hope and uh, I believe people uh, like the movie for the moment. So it's cool. Yeah. And um, it played a happenstance uh, horror festival uh, near me in Massachusetts just yeah. last weekend, I think. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And uh, I heard great things. Oh, uh, perfect. Yeah. Super. Uh, <clears throat> even right at the opening, uh, the credits, who did like the cutout animation? I like that. Yeah. When you have no money, because it's a short film, uh-huh. you, you, have to, you must have imagination. So how can I... Um, I, how can I tell the great and uh, big history with no money? The, the simply way was to, to make uh, an animation like a comics book. And uh, we did it. <laughs> yeah, I thought it looked great. And uh, it's funny you say no uh, money because uh, t- <clears throat> to me, the movie looks uh, like it would have cost a lot. There's a lot of effects. The, the oh, <laughs> look great. Uh, yeah, we tried to do uh, um, the film looks like... Uh, a little, I say, a little blockbuster. Yeah. Uh, I put, a, I put, I put like this uh, with my finger huh, because yeah. <laughs> a little blockbuster, um, a little uh, Marvel movie or something like that, you know. Yeah. And um, and um, yes, the the team uh, did a, a great, uh, a big work uh, about the the light uh, the the production design the costume and all that so i i think we cannot see the movie is a is a, a no money movie <laughs> no, no i would not have guessed I, I actually thought it probably it must have cost a lot for a short but i do think uh of uh, like some stuff you you mentioned there the production you know mm-hmm. value that um, even if you don't have a lot of money, if you if you put you know if you concentrate on certain things, you can still make a film look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, when you have no many money, the money you have, you have to put it on the screen. All yeah. the the little money we had, we put on uh, on the screen for the for the viewers, the the uh, spectator, uh, the the audience, the yeah. audience. Yeah. It's technically like two locations in a way, but it's really, you know, yeah. you're shooting in one location. And uh, it looked great because there's a lot of little trinkets in the background, like the lab. So uh, mm-hmm. where, where did you actually film that? And uh, how do you go about, you know, setting up all those little things? Yeah, it's um, the, the set is, a, is, a, is an old factory in the north of France. Oh, uh, cool. so, yeah, near a little town uh, named Lille <laughs> in the north of France. And, uh, cool. It's uh, this uh, old factory is now a museum. Uh, it's uh, it, it was a beer factory, an old beer factory. Oh, wow. And, um, the wall was uh, unbelievable. And uh, my um, uh, set designer come with uh, all the lab, uh, the chair, the famous uh, chair <laughs> who is the main character of the movie, huh? the, the yeah. chair. And um, the, the, the set designer was alone for making uh, all the set. 
So he worked uh, very great. Yeah. Uh, And uh, they were cool letting you film there? What? The, the, uh, the people I, that owned it, like, uh, did you know them? Or how, how do you go about, like, getting uh, permission to film? Uh, we, we take my car and we take around the, the country, the, <laughs> uh, the city, uh, yeah. sorry. And uh, we, we find this uh, old factory like that. We, we uh, met the owner. And he said, uh, let's go. You can uh, shoot here. <laughs> yeah. uh, just like that. <laughs> so what, what's your background in filmmaking? I know you've done several shorts. Yeah. Um, my um, filmmaking is my work in the real life. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm living uh, with uh, this job. But uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm doing filmmaking for... Um, for um, uh, how do you say in English? Uh, commercial. Okay. <laughs> commercial or uh, or documentary um, and uh, I um, several uh, several uh, years ago I uh, I met uh, a producer and uh, she asked to me if I want to do some uh, fiction mm -hmm. I say okay <laughs> and she produced my uh, first movie who was a fairy tale for the children and uh, after we m we made uh, a tv a tv show for uh, french t tv and uh, transferred yeah um the the other film you mentioned i believe is orfer i don't know how you yeah 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 Orfia. Orfia. <laughs> okay and yeah. uh, i actually took french in in, uh, in school a long time ago oh, okay. i don't remember too much about it uh, parlez vous français but the, uh, uh, oh i think your french is better than my english so. oh well i don't know about that but the, my accent is not good at all so i like it that. i like it ah, yeah. Yeah. The, the 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 beautiful of the french accent you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. so or fear um is that a, is that available anywhere for for people to watch yeah on vimeo Okay, I'm gonna watch Vimeo, it. Yeah. Uh, I YouTube. Train the, uh, like I really would like to see something. Uh, you you, you can see it on my uh, YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Jonas Queen is the name of the YouTube channel. Uh, you have the uh, you had the movie. Uh, you have got the movie uh, on this YouTube channel. Uh, no problem. It's a bit. It's a big jump. You made a, a kid's fairy tale, then you make a, yeah. a time traveling movie with with, with a Nazi. In it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but but it's because. Um, I've I've got some um, luby, uh, some um, some fixation about something, you know. When I I did uh, Orphir, I was I I had a fixation about Tim Burton. Oh, okay. <laughs> And uh, when uh, I uh, did uh, Transfert, I have a fixation about comic book. So uh, my work is always uh, is always the mirror the mirror uh, of my uh, personal life, you know, uh, of my uh, my uh, sensibility. About mm. uh, what I'm reading, what uh, I'm watching uh, at the moment, yeah. I'm uh, creating creating the movie. Yeah, uh, this might be a weird question, but um, when you're sending out transfer to, to festivals, you know, around yeah. the world, do any of the different countries have a problem with the with the Nazi symbols being shown in the movie? No, no, no. Nobody says something to me now. Uh, when we speak together now, we we had uh, uh, 80 festivals mm -hmm. for transfer, and uh, nobody says something. Uh, and uh, the, the the Nazi sign is uh, on the poster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the the S of uh, transfer is a uh, it's, right, uh, it's, the SS. it's uh, a blink to yeah. to the the Nazi sign, and nobody because it's like in. Uh, a comic book. If you are mm -hmm. reading uh, the first Captain America comic book, you will see the Nazi sign uh, everywhere. It's fiction. It's not. Yeah. Uh, no, I agree. With you. I just know um, so. from a previous interview with a uh, Jörg Buttergeist uh, director. Okay. And uh, he made a movie, um, German angst, and they weren't allowed okay. to use the actual uh, swastika or anything mm -hmm. uh, for for German films because it's like. Oh. And I think in Germany, you're just not allowed to even show it, even in a fiction film, which is, is oh. a lot of. No, in France, uh, in uh, the other country, all over the world, nobody say something. Uh, maybe I am I'm lucky. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. But, maybe, uh, maybe it's just Germany. I'm not sure. But. Mm. 
Or maybe there's some specific rules, but um, so cast in the movie, both guys are, are great in the movie of uh, the two main uh, leads. Did you know them before the film? Uh, I know uh, David Ducan, the main uh, uh, David <laughs> in English. I said David. <laughs> David, that uh, sounds better anyway. Yeah. Uh, David, he was um, a journalist in a, a French, uh, in the big French uh, movie magazines. The name of the magazine is uh, Mad Movies. It's okay. a big, uh, big uh, review, uh, a big French magazine about uh, genre movies in France. So he was, um, he was a journalist and now he is an actor. And I, I know it uh, several years ago, but uh, Vernon Dobchev, mm -hmm. the old Nazi in the movie, yeah. um, I, d I didn't know him, but my uh, screenwriter know him uh, because he worked with it uh, 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 on uh, several uh, long movies. Mm -hmm. feature film and uh, I saw uh, Vernon in uh, Indiana Jones James Bond uh, The Name of the Woes um, all these big movies yeah. uh, Vernon is a is a big star for me <laughs> you know yeah, and, he, uh, he's, he's great in the movie he really nails the role yeah yeah, yeah he, he he's a professional <laughs> yeah. just that he came <laughs> in, in, he knows his text he knows how to play just uh, a few dialogue with him few conversations with him and uh, he know what he have to do and uh, it's a pleasure to to work with an actor like that a pleasure you see you called the movie a small blockbuster the look of it yeah uh, would you ever want to revisit transfer to make it a feature film uh, not a feature film we want a tv show about transfer. okay yeah and uh, we, we have got the script and uh, we are looking for producer in France uh, because genre movie and comics books movie in French is in France, uh, excuse me, in France is, is uh, very difficult to, to, to have the money in France uh, for, for doing the, this kind of uh, stuff is very difficult in France. Uh, yeah. In France, we love uh, funny movie and uh, drama. <laughs> not, uh, we are not uh, good for uh, adventure, science fiction, fantastic. It's not uh, our, um, our specialization. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, we are the country of uh, Jules Verne. Uh, uh, 20,000 20, uh, under the sea. <laughs> uh, it's it's, it's uh, our culture, but uh, nah. It's like that institution, and uh, <laughs> yeah. it's the uh, friends. <laughs> yeah, uh, if, you know, a few years ago is kind of the rise of the the the. Um, they did have a lot of horror movies out of France, mm. like the yeah, the, uh, kind of well, extreme horror movies. Yes, uh, we call that uh, the French Fire. With um, you have got uh, some uh, good director like uh, Xavier Jean or uh, Pascal Logier, who, uh, who now they are uh, working for uh, HBO. Um, they are, they are became, became a big, big director on the world, uh, like uh, Christophe Gans. I don't know if you know, know him, but uh, I just was, had the uh, guys uh, a cut like last month, the guys who made Inside, you know, the film Inside. Yeah, Inside, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had that uh, the show. Yeah, you have uh, Mathieu Thury with uh, Hostile and uh, Meander. Uh, we, we have great. Uh, Horror movie director in France, but uh, the the institution to not uh, follow. Yeah, because they're uh, more independent films, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, sometimes you have got uh, one uh, TV who in France uh, television uh, uh, making uh, money on uh, on uh, movies. The the distribution and the the how the French movies get uh, the money is. Uh, it's a little particular in France because uh, it's a strange, a strange, uh, a strange things. Uh, so, but the TV don't want to put um, uh, at the be in front of the viewers a horror movie because they have to sell the the commercial. Right, <laughs> uh, right. Some, uh, some Coca Cola or no, I don't know what. Yeah. Uh, some uh, some. Uh, Kinder, <laughs> what, what you want, some chocolate. <laughs> and uh, they, they cannot uh, sell chocolate uh, when uh, they have uh, head a cut or <laughs> yeah, yeah. something like that. So TV are very cold to put uh, money on. Uh, mm -hmm. on um, and now on, with the rise of, uh, you know, the world in a way is a lot smaller now because, you know, people in America, people around the world can see films from all around the world. Which yeah. A lot of things we wouldn't have seen before. 
and even us, even TV shows, there's a lot of them that stream, you know, Netflix and Shutter and different places. So, you know, it could, you know, expand out of France and go, you know, other places. Yeah, I think that's why um, all the French directors of a genre movie are going to, to other countries for uh, doing their job because they can't uh, tell their own story in France. Uh, uh, we have got a French director named uh, uh, François Cavaillé. Uh, he was doing some um, uh, a polar uh, police police movie, a dark police movie, you know, <laughs> uh, an action in France. He did uh, two movies like that. Uh, there was a big success in the French box office. And after these two movies, uh, he can't do another movie. Uh, no way. He tried, he tried, he tried, he tried and can't. So uh, now he's doing uh, some funny movie for the French TV. He stopped to do action movie. And uh, I think it's a, it's a little sad situation, you know. It's not very fun. <laughs> yeah. So what, what kind of movies did you watch, uh, you know, growing up that made you want to, like, pursue mo making movies? Oh, my... Um, ah, it's a good question, you know. Um, my, my answer will be uh, a little strange <laughs> uh, because my, um, my love of the cinema um, came with a movie named... Uh, Uh, oh, I, I, I don't have the English name. Uh, Police Story 4 with uh, Jackie Chan. Okay. 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 Uh, it was a movie I, uh, I discovered when I, uh, I was a child. And uh, it was my first love about uh, cinema and movie. And when you, you grow up, my uh, cinematographic culture grew up too. So I watch... Uh, Every kind of movie, horror, comedy, drama, uh, uh, comic book movie, adventure movie, fun all. Uh, I, I think, do too. Uh, I know I'm at a horror show, but I, I watch all kinds of movies. But I think uh, horror can feed uh, comedy, uh, comedy can feed, uh, can feed fantastic. All the cinema uh, talk to them uh, like that. Uh, Uh, when you are uh, a director, you have to uh, to take some inspiration uh, here and here and here. Interesting. So, uh, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, in France, how, is it hard to pursue like that kind of work? Like, I want to become mm -hmm. a filmmaker. Like, uh, okay. are there schools? Like, they, how, how do you get involved in that? Oh, you have um, in France. You have one school uh, named uh, La Femis. <laughs> uh, is a, it is a big school in France. You do it, you are in the system. Uh, when you do the FEMI, when you do the FEMIS, you are in the system and you know uh, you will be a director and you can uh, live with your job. But you are doing uh, movies like drama for the TV uh, in the system. If you want to, to do another thing, uh, it's other way. Um, I did the public university. Uh, for in French, and after I made I made some uh, uh, des stages. Comment comment on dit ça en anglais? How to say that in English? Uh, so during school, uh, I was to to go to some um, some uh, enterprise, some uh, little little piece of job in some. Uh, uh, I, I I I'm so weird. I don't have the the English yeah, uh, word, and uh, I did it in a production. Uh, uh, Society and I, uh, my, uh, I, um, I, uh, I met the, my producer uh, here you know, dur during my, uh, my studies. Uh, mm -hmm. It's like that I begin to, to be a director. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, who did the effects for, for transferred? Oh, we, I think they look great. yeah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, we were uh, five. <laughs> uh, first of really? all, me, yeah. yeah. First of all, me, <laughs> I did uh, maybe uh, 50% of the effect of the movie. Um, and uh, one society in the f south of France, uh, two people, Etienne and Bertrand. <laughs> and uh, one uh, friend, uh, his name was uh, Thomas. He made uh, when the chair uh, was, uh, <laughs> you know, and uh, another friend named Seb Sebastian uh, was doing all the 3D stuff. Uh, like the um, uh, temporal tunnel, the the blood in uh, 3D, all this thing uh, was uh, doing by uh, Sebastian. We was uh, well, I am five. <laughs> yeah. 
Now you said a few times, you know, uh, when you're making this, you're thinking like comic book. Was this based mm. on a comic book or is this all original? Uh, no, no, no. All uh, come from my head and from yeah. the head of uh, my uh, screenwriter. We yeah. are two crazy men who are uh, dreaming about <laughs> Nazi uh, traveling in time. <laughs> yeah. No, and I, I always, I always find time travel interesting, and, yeah. and you know, kind of like your own kind of rules, how you know the time travel would work. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, the difficulty was to 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 do the time travel in a in a singular uh, uh, place, mm -hmm. one just one place for uh, time travel. Uh, it was a uh, hard work uh, about the story, but uh, I think we did it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think you nailed it. Uh, how about the mask for for when he goes back in time and mm -hmm. the German with the, the stormtrooper mask? Yeah, uh, it was. Um, I met uh, a costume designer. I asked to her, uh, "I need a mask." Uh, she made a few design, and I chose one. Uh, I say it's okay. I was some. Uh, uh, I had some uh, references like uh, a French TV show named uh, Lazy Company or, uh, or Darth Vader. Uh, Darth Vader, like you yeah, say. Yeah. Uh, we say Darth Vader. You say Darth Vader. <laughs> I like okay. I like Darth Vader. <laughs> Darth Vader. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Hellboy. Uh, Hellboy was a, a great great reference for uh, transfer. Mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, that's a great movie too. The uh, have you had you ever directed action scenes before? Uh, no, it was my first time. But uh, I was um, uh, I have um, I had a good uh, help because um, the choreographer, yes, choreographer, the stunt yeah. choreographer, um, um, he was uh, working with uh, Paul Verhoeven. Um, so he was a, a big. Uh, It's the greatest co stunt choreographer of France, and uh, he came uh, on my movie for uh, help me. I, uh, his name is Manu, Manu Lanzi. Uh, I asked uh, to him, uh, uh, "Can you help me? Because I I never did that. Um, filming action is a uh, is very difficult. It's more difficult to to filming two people uh, speaking together. <laughs> so um, it's really very did. long. It's long to do because I assume you have to take a lot of small shots, a lot of small takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for uh, the the fight duration is uh, 40 seconds, I think. Uh, one day of shooting. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you you said uh, you know Jackie Chan movie made you want to make movies, and now uh, you're filming an action scene. So it all goes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, we uh, we we come to the beginning of my uh, uh, cinematographic. Yeah. Uh, so you're kind of your own time traveling. Yeah, 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 yeah. A kind of, a kind of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, did um. So you filmed it before COVID, but then it was. Uh, I, I assume it played at festivals. Mm -hmm. You know, during COVID. Uh, yeah, um, we AT festival and uh, some festival are um, with the people. They, mm -hmm. um, it's um, uh, depend of uh, country of uh, rules of the COVID in country. Uh, in France, it's not like uh, in the USA. It's not like Germany. Uh, uh, in Europe, all the country uh, for COVID are not the same rule. <laughs> it's uh, wow. <laughs> so depend depend of the festival. But some people see a transfer on a big screen. Big ah on a big screen uh, sorry and uh, some people see it uh, on a computer on a television yeah. i would really like to i know shriek fest gonna be on the big screen and i uh, i would really like to see it on the big screen because uh, yeah. i think it's a very cinematic uh film short and also the sound i think you know works yeah because well. uh, we 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 are we did the movie for the green screen the like you say the sound and uh, the light the sound we we mix it uh I, I think you know it, um, Luc Besson. Mm -hmm. Luc Besson, you know it. Uh, in the USA, I think you know Luc Besson. The fifth element. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, we mix uh, transfer in uh, is a studio. In, uh, it's a studio uh, to to him. So it was a big, big uh, uh, one one year for making the the sound of transfer. <laughs> wow. So had you, um, with your previous film, did, did it play, oh, I knew it played festivals, but was that your first like experience playing at like international festivals? Uh, uh, my, for my first film, we did, uh, I don't know, 15 festival. It was okay. a, a little, 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 uh, 
diffusion no not so so popular like uh, transfer yeah and what's that experience like knowing that you know your films being watched you know all different countries you know you make it in french and you know people <laughs> in america are watching it i think uh, i don't know about that for me the principle is uh, people like the movie They right, can right. be uh, Arabian, uh, are, American, like yeah, yeah, Chinese. I, yeah. I don't care <laughs> uh, if they like my movie and uh, if they are. Um, no, the principal is they have good time. Yeah, yeah. the movie for me. The, if 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 uh, they have good time, I think uh, I did my job. I did mm. my part of uh, of uh, dreaming to do dreaming people. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bit. Would you ever want to do it as a comic book too? Like, uh, you know, you want to do it as a series, but you said you felt like oh. it's a comic book movie. Would you want to have an actual comic book of it? I love, uh, I will love to do that, but uh, uh, I don't know how to do that. I'm, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. Maybe I'm someone big, out there I'm watching a... would, have, would be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love that, but uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm drawing uh, like a shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, what are some of your favorite comics, by the way? Oh, I say the. Uh, ta, 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 ta. Oh, I, I'm not very original about that. Uh, it okay. was a, a French, uh, a French comics named uh, uh, Asterix. Okay. Asterix. Yeah, I'm not familiar with it. But... Oh, it's uh, about um, uh, the Caesar, the Roma, and Caesar, and this. Uh, voilà, Asterix and uh, Tintin. You know Tintin? Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Uh, it's uh, it's uh, the same family, the, the Belgium uh, and France, uh, uh, yeah, Franco Franco Belge, Franco Belgium uh, comic book. Uh, this um, this family of uh, comics. I I grew up like that. My uh, my parents, uh, my father and my mother, uh, uh, brought that to me when I was a child. So I uh, I grew up with this uh, this uh, comic book. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I love uh, Captain America, uh, Batman, Dark Knight, The mm -hmm. Dark Knight. Um, I love um, Witchblade. Uh, I loved uh, many things. I think uh, here uh, I had uh, maybe uh, uh, 1,000 comic books and uh, 2,000 uh, Blu-ray. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> It's been exciting last like 10 years or so with all the comic book movies. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I was reading uh, comics books before the, yeah. the, so my the, brother, the success. When we were kids, my brother, and even he's older than me, so even maybe in the late 70s, but uh, throughout the 80s, you know, he's a big mm -hmm. comic book guy. And so it's very fun to go see the movies with him because, you know, he even has like comic book tattoos and he has a, <laughs> he has a Thanos tattoo, which he had years oh. before. And then when he popped up, you know, even before he was mm -hmm. real big and when he had this cameo, he was so excited because he never thought that would be a character that would be in a movie. Yeah, yeah. I think people say to him, uh, you did this tattoo because you see him to the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Now But they think no, he had it because, <laughs> yeah, he's right. And he, yeah, he had it for years. So. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, they think he's just hopping on the bandwagon. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, how about uh, horror movies? Do you, uh, do you have any favorite horror films? Uh, yeah, I think uh, is it uh, Chainsaw Massacre. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, the first That's Halloween. Too. The the first uh, Halloween of uh, John Carpenter, um, and some French horror movie like Frontier, Martyr. Um, ta -ta 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 -ta. Yeah, I think uh, it's uh, really. It's good for movies. Yeah, yeah. Already good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and how about that? Uh, do you have any favorite time travel films? Oh, uh, the classic Back to the Future. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like everybody in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's a favorite mo movie of everybody in the world. I don't yeah. know one people who say, who come and say, uh, I don't like uh, Back to the Future. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody I like it. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to know them. I don't think they seem like very good people if they don't like that. <laughs> Maybe they are all living in a small village uh, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, uh, That is interesting. That's a universally loved movie because I think it appeals to everybody. You know, you don't have to be a science fiction fan. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit for everybody. It's a, everyone in it's just very likable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, um Don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good job. So Transfer is going to be playing uh, Shriekfest. And yeah. um, where can people follow you in the film to see like uh, where it's going to go from here? Uh, we have got uh, Instagram account and uh, Facebook. 
Yeah. Um, you can find the movie uh, on this platform, yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you going to be a Shriek Fest? I assume not with the, with the travel. Uh, it's very difficult with COVID and uh, yeah. all this shit. Uh, um, is it, I, I'm living near Belgium. It's difficult to me to go to Belgium. So uh, going to USA or China or Africa, uh, you can imagine it's very difficult yeah, uh, yeah. at this moment. Mm -hmm. But hopefully things start to uh, start to get back to where we can travel around easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope so. I hope yeah. so. And are you working on anything currently? Uh, I'm working about a documentary. Okay. Yeah. Um, about uh, the relation uh, between uh, cinema and uh, attraction park, like uh, Disneyland or um, the, yeah. Uh, and, real, uh, I kind of have a quick question about uh, documentaries because I think yeah. some people see a documentary as uh, it's completely different than a narrative film, but in my opinion, you're still telling a story. You know, you're just doing it uh, with real things, but you still have to, you're still shaping it into a story. Do, mm -hmm. do you look at that way when you're making a documentary? Uh, when you're making a documentary, you are writing uh, all the story for mm -hmm. the producer, for the money, for finding the money. But when you are shooting uh, all the story, uh, you can put it. So it's kind of more an editing where the story actually takes place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, you cannot know. Right. Uh, what people say to you du 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 during the shoot. Mm -hmm. So, so you, you cannot, um, yes, you, like you say, uh, editing is the writing of uh, the documentary. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm sorry I interrupted you, but you said you're working on no something. No problem. Else. Uh, yeah, I'm working in uh, another uh, short film. <laughs> oh, <laughs> to, nice. uh, an, uh, another uh, short film, uh, horror short film. Okay. I, uh, I, uh, I shoot uh, him in the uh, uh, beginning of uh, uh, 2022. Oh, very cool. That's very exciting. Okay. Yeah. I look yeah. forward to that because I really love Transfer. It. Oh, thank and you. So thank you. I'm looking for I, I, I'm going to uh, watch your uh, previous short film and I look forward to your future work. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm happy you, you like the movie. Yeah, no, it's, I loved it. I, thought, uh, yeah. uh, I don't want to. You know, because I've interviewed a lot of people from Shriek, Shriek Fest, but this might have been my favorite of the uh, of the shorts. Oh, thank you, thank you. I, what can I say to you about, <laughs> except uh, thank you, man? <laughs> yeah, thank no, it, it was great. So, yep. And now uh, this has been very fun to talk with you. And hopefully, uh, for the next one, we can uh, talk again. No problem. I send you a link when the movie is finished, and uh, we can talk if you want. No problem. Very good. I'm it was a great pleasure. Yeah, me as well. I, I hope my English was not uh, catastrophic. Was no, not, it's, uh, it's fine. I, I understand. Okay. Yeah, ah, yeah. okay. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. I will talk to you soon. Have a good time. Yeah, thank good you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.